falling in love to me is like, and even that it, that connection, it's like you're recognizing your counterpart. You're you're discovering who that person is that you have this draw to. It's almost an unexplainable draw to them. Mm. That doesn't happen with everybody. We can like a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? And we can desire a lot of people, but we don't feel drawn mm. to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's a whole nother level right there. So when you come across it, you're recognizing it. You know what I'm saying? And again, falling in love is when you allow yourself to embrace it. You see what I'm saying? So part of that is you have to be willing to go there because some people recognize it and say, oh, hell no. Nah. This mm. is too much. I can't handle this right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. out. Yeah. All right? So they stop themselves from falling in love. But yeah, I don't think it's more so a feeling. And I don't even think, like to me, love isn't a feeling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Love isn't an action either. You hear a lot of people say, oh, love is an action. That's actually pure BS. Oh, wow. All right? no, oh, no, no disrespect to <laughs> no, no disrespect to all these people. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. It sounds good, but love is expressed or can be expressed through actions, but it's not defined by actions. Okay. You can have someone right now who's madly in love with you and is doing nothing about it gotcha. because of the circumstances maybe, because they're afraid. Their lack of action does not mean they're not in love with you. Mm. There's a whole lot more to it. Love to me is is our spirit. Like we're born with love. If you if you're a spiritual person, if you're a believer, you can find it in the Bible where it says he gave us a spirit of love. That's something that's within us. That's why when we're born as babies, we cry to be held. We cry for affection. We want love. We're wired that way naturally. And then in life, it's a matter of who we choose to give it to and who we choose not to. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But then falling in love is, like I said, that's not even about just love itself. That's about connection. And that's something way deeper that I think a lot of people just don't fully understand. So do you believe you can fall out of love? No. Mm. You don't fall out of love. You, okay. you can reject love. Hmm. You can run from love. But you don't really fall out of it. And, and perfect example, when it's true, when it's real love, People who are falling out of love, I always say, when you fall out of love, it's because you realize you were never in love to begin with, hmm. all right? You were there for other reasons. You were infatuated. You were caught up in the hype, but you didn't have that real connection with them because when you have that genuine connection with someone, you will always love them. You can stop talking to this person right now, meet up 20 years later, the feelings come right back. Hmm. And there's millions of stories like that where people disconnect, reconnect, and it's like they never stop talking. Because when it's the real connection, it never disappears. You can't create a connection. You can't destroy one. But you can run from it. You can decide not to nurture it. You know what I'm saying? You can pile a bunch of crap on top of it. Yeah. But it's still there one way or another. Hmm. That scares me, though. Why? Well, if, 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 if I had a connection with a guy, he come back like, hey. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I need you to fall out of that. But, well, you, the, the only way you're going to safeguard yourself is you got to make sure the person you're with, you have a connection with. You. If you don't have a genuine connection with them, I ain't going to lie to you. Yes. That's be crazy. afraid. <laughs> be very afraid. All right? Not saying for me personally. I'm just saying. And listen, crazy. And, and it ain't even like be afraid because some past dude is going to come back yeah. to haunt you. <laughs> if you don't have a genuine connection with that person you're with, that relationship is going to fall apart at some mm. point. You ain't going to be able to keep it up. Trust me. All these divorces, all these failed relationships, they don't have a connection. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that was the missing ingredient because when you don't have that, you don't have the same desire, the same energy to fight for each other, to work towards things together and, and you're just not drawn to each other to enough to find a way to make things work. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. As I've explained in different videos, what, for a lot of men, when they're really into a woman, it can be uh, a frightening experience because it, it creates so much vulnerability in that man, depending on what he's been through in the